with profound humble gratitude and love to all venerated enlightened masters. We bow to the Almighty in soulful gratefulness for gifting us with their holy blessed presence. May all beings be awakened by their divine grace. Part 4 of 4 Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com bar inclinada schedule. Chương trình của chúng tôi cung ứng nhiều ngôn ngữ. Xin xem suprememastertv.com gạch chéo schedule. O King You do not know the meaning and origin of the words without protection, nor how one comes to be without protection or with protection, O ruler of men. Please continue watching to find out what protection truly means, as the great ascetic saint explains. Vegan, cause we can't lose this beautiful realm. Namaste, compassionate viewers. I just said hello in Hindi. I'm Sanvi. The truth-seeking Indian people wish you all the best in devoting your meditation to the Most High. May Lord Mahavira answer your sincere prayers for spiritual progress. Welcome to From Sacred Jainism Scripture, Uttaradhyayana, Lecture 20, Part 1 of 2. The religion of Jainism, traditionally called Jain Dharma, originated in ancient India. Jain Dharma emphasizes the value of right perception, right knowledge, and right conduct. Through inner reflection and sincere practice of these principles, one can attain moksha, or realization of the soul's true nature. The concept of ahimsa or non-violence is also central to Jainism. Thus, with respect for all life, Jain practitioners follow a pure vegan or plant-based diet. The Jain lineage includes 24 Tirthankaras or beings who share the enlightenment with others. The Tirthankara's teachings comprise the Agam Sutras, which are the holy scriptures of Jainism. The 24th and last Tirthankara was Lord Mahavira, whose name means Great Hero. Born into a royal family in 599 BC, Prince Mahavira decided as a young man to pursue a solitary spiritual life. After 12 years of intensive meditation, he attained Kevala Jnana or the highest wisdom. Lord Mahavira was known to face all obstacles with acceptance and forgiveness. He also shared discourses on spiritual truths which formed the basis of present-day Jainism. Supreme Master Ching Hai has paid tribute to the spiritual greatness of Lord Mahavira during lectures given in Taiwan, also known as Formosa, on various occasions. I don't know if anyone in the history of mankind could have done or could be doing or will be doing such an ascetism, such a sacrifice like the Lord Mahavira. We really salute him and are grateful <laughs> to all that he has to endure for enlightenment, for the sake of others. Yes. All these sufferings are not for naught. They would benefit the world in some way or another, even without 
the Lord Mahavira knowing or even without the world people knowing or being grateful for. We now invite you to listen to excerpts from the 20th lecture of Uttaradhyayana, one of the most important scriptures in Jainism. This lecture called The Great Duty of the Nirgranthas or Jain Monks describes a conversation between King Srinaka and an ascetic saint. During their conversation, the saint explains to the king about the inner meaning of a true protector. 20th Lecture The Great Duty of the Nirgranthas Piously adoring the perfected and the restrained saints, Listen to my true instruction which teaches the real profit of men, religion, and liberation. King Srinika, the ruler of Magadha, who possessed many precious things, once made a pleasure excursion to the Mandi Kukshi Kaitya. It was a park like Nandana, with trees and creepers of many kinds, peopled by various birds and full of various flowers. There he saw a restrained and concentrated saint sitting below a tree, who looked delicate and accustomed to comfort. When the king saw his figure, his astonishment at that ascetic's figure was very great and unequalled. Oh, his color! Oh, his figure! Oh, the loveliness of the noble man! Oh, his tranquility! Oh, his perfection! Oh, his disregard for pleasures! Adoring his feet and keeping him on his right side, he sat down, neither too far off nor too close by, and asked him with his hands clasped, Though a young noble man, you have entered the order. In an age fit for pleasure, you exert yourself as a shramana. O ascetic, I want to hear you explain this. I am without a protector, O great king. There is nobody to protect me. I know no friend nor anyone to have sympathy with me. Then King Srinika, the ruler of Magadha, laughed. How should there be nobody to protect one so accomplished as you? I am the protector of religious men, O monk. Enjoy pleasures together with your friends and relations, for it is a rare chance to be born as a human being. You yourself are without a protector, Srinika ruler of Magadha. And as you are without a protector, how can you protect anybody else? When the saint had addressed this unprecedented speech to the king, who was greatly moved and astonished, and struck with astonishment, he answered, I have horses, elephants and subjects, a town and a seraglio, harem, power and command, enjoy human pleasures, in possession of so great means which permit the owner to enjoy all pleasures. How could he be without protection? Reverend Sir, you speak on truth. O King, you do not know the meaning and origin of the words without protection, nor how one comes to be without protection or with protection, O ruler of men. Here, O great king, with an undistracted mind, in what way a man can be said to be without protection, and with what purpose I have said all this. There is a town Kausambi by name, which is among towns what Indra is among the gods. There lived my father, who possessed great wealth. In my childhood, O great king, I caught a very bad eye disease and a severe burning fever in all my limbs, O ruler of men. My eyes ached as if a cruel enemy thrust a sharp tool in the hollow of my body. In the back, the heart and the head, I suffered dreadful and very keen pains, equal to a stroke of lightning. Then the best physicians came to my help, who cure by their medical art and by spells, who were versed in their science and well knew spells and roots. They tried to cure me according to the fourfold science, four branches of medical science which they had been taught, but they could not rid me of my pains. 
Hence, I say that I am without protection. My father would have spent all he possessed for my sake, but he could not rid me of my pains. Hence, I say that I am without protection. My mother, O great king, was agonized with grief about her son, but she could not, etc. O great king, my own brothers, the elder and younger ones, could not rid me of my pains, etc. O great king, my own sisters, the elder and younger ones, could not, etc. O great king, my loving and faithful wife moistened my chest with the tears of her eyes. The poor lady did not eat, nor drink, nor bathe, nor use perfumes, wreaths, and anointment with my knowledge or without it. O great king, she did not leave my side even for a moment but she could not read me of my pains. Hence, I say that I am without protection. Then I said, It is very hard to bear pains again and again in the endless circle of births. If I for once shall get rid of these great pains, I shall become a houseless monk calm, restrained, and ceasing to act. While I thought so, I fell asleep, O ruler of men, and after that night my pains had vanished. Then in the morning of the next day I took leave of my relations and became a houseless monk, calm, restrained, and ceasing to act. Thus I became the protector of myself and of others besides, of all living beings, whether they move or not. Being vegan kind of makes me feel good that I am doing my part and playing my role in creating a more positive environment, a more positive world, really. Derek Morgan, Vegan Wise viewers, it's been a pleasure to have your company for today's show on Words of Wisdom. Please join us again tomorrow for part two of this program. Coming up next is the Huli, Papua New Guinea's fascinating indigenous people, right after noteworthy news. May the celestial blessings from heaven bring comfort to your pure soul. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash WOW.